Good morning, first grade. We are going to take our week 31 spelling test today, and this is the long U pattern spelled U-E or E-W. And we're actually going to split these up. So we'll start with U-E spelling, and then I'll let you know when we are switching to the other pattern. And just a reminder that long U can make the U sound, and it can also make the U sound. All right, so if you want to grab your blank spelling test paper, put your first and last name on it, and we will go ahead and start with number one. And again, we will start with the U-E words first. All right, number one, clue, clue. The detective looked for a clue. Clue. Number two is blue, blue. The sky is blue, blue, as in the color blue. Okay, number three, number two, one last time is blue, as in the color blue, the sky is blue. Number three is true. Is that a true story? True. We are still on the UE pattern. True. Okay. Number four is glue. 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 You can use some glue to stick your paper together. Glue, number four. Okay, number five. Q. Q. The director gave the actors their cue to enter the stage. Q, number five, Q. Okay, and moving on to number six. Number six is argue, argue, still using that same pattern, R, which we've learned before, and then U, argue. Sometimes siblings will argue, but they always make up. Argue. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read one through six quickly. Number one is clue. Number two is blue, as in the color. Number three is true. Number four, glue. Number five, Q. And number six, argue. All right, we're gonna go ahead and move over to number seven, and we're going to now be focusing on the words that are spelled E-W, okay? E-W, starting at number seven. Number seven is few, few. I have a few more pages to read before I finish the book. Few, number seven, few. Okay, number eight, chew, chew. The dog likes to chew its bone, chew. Number eight. Okay, number nine, crew, crew. We have a nice crew. I always have fun with my friends. Crew, number nine. K or oo, crew. Okay, number 10. Drew, drew. I drew a picture in art class. Drew, number 10. D 
Giroux. Number 11 is stew, stew. Sometimes I think it is a little hot to have stew in the summertime, stew. Stew, number 11. Okay, and number 12, last one, through, through. The pitcher threw the ball to the batter. Through, so through the ball, that meaning of the word, that spelling. Th er, ooh. Through. I'm going to go ahead and read 7 through 12 quickly. Number 7 is few. Number 8 is chew. Number 9 is crew. Number 10 is drew. Number 11, stew. And number 12, threw, as in I threw the ball. All right, let's go ahead over to our high frequency words. Number 1, family. Family. I got to visit with my family over the weekend. Family. Number two of the high frequency words, very, very. We have had a very exciting school year. Very, number two. Very. Number three, told, told. I told my friend I'd meet them at four. Told, number three. Okay. And number four, where, where. Where are you going after school? Where? Number four. Where? The high frequency words again. Number one is family. Number two, very. Number three, told. And number four, where? All right, we are on to the sentence. And this one is a little bit shorter for us this week, so I think that will be nice. Uh, I'll go ahead and say it twice, repeat it with me on the third time, and then go ahead and write, and then I'll just say it one or, one or two more times after that, all right? The sentence for today is, he drew a blue clue. He drew a blue clue. And if you want to repeat it with me, he drew a blue clue. Go ahead and write. The sentence again, he drew a blue clue. He drew a blue clue. All right, that is our week 31 spelling sentence. One more time before we wrap up. He drew a blue clue. All right, thanks for your hard work and keep up the great work. I will talk to everybody soon. Bye.